Namaste to all of you and welcome from Dhananjay Kumar. As you may have noticed that last several videos are dedicated to teachers, especially teachers of wisdom, which is not limited to any particular subject, topic, grade or age group. So the first quality of great teacher in Pragyale or the house of wisdom as we call it is the quality to learn and teach learn while teaching which means that the teacher's capability and interest is not limited to expertise in any one field or subject. Teachers, such teachers are interested in all subjects although they are not experts in all subjects but they see the, the connectivity the relationship from one to another and that is because nature is not divided according to subject that this part of nature is physics this part of nature is mathematics language arts biology in every part of nature every other aspect of knowledge is embedded. You take any object in nature or any aspect of nature, all the knowledge are connected in that particular object or aspect. If you take a tree, well the tree contains the knowledge of photosynthesis, of irrigation, how seeds sprout, how they become tree, how sunlight affects them, how weather affects them, how different uh, seasons trees behave differently. So that many subjects are related into a tree. Look at your body. Your body has physics in it. It has a uh, atoms, molecules, cells, particles, it has earth elements, it has solidity, it has liquidity, it has gas, it has alkaline, it has acidic, it is fluid, it has um, vapor, it has blood, it is also biology and physics and chemistry. The chemistry is working through your body. The endocrine system has chemical aspect. Your brain waves, neurons have uh, el electrical aspect. Uh, your body uses energy and not only use energy but create energy. It has all the forces of nature. It is connected with everything in nature. So if you know body only as a subject in biology, that is a limitation. You have to know all aspects of the body, its workings, sleeping state, thinking state, the psychology, thinking state, your thoughts. So this is just one example, you take any example and you will find that it cannot be limited to any one specific subject. Although in usual school system, academic schools, uh, body is considered mainly as biology or history is about past events, well past events are also connected to 
all the other aspects of uh, studies, nature, research, archaeology. And similarly, when you study sociology, you'll find that all the uh, packets of interdisciplinary knowledge is in all aspects of society. How society moves, how different people relate, how they trade, how they travel, etc. So, this is one of the most interesting aspects of being a teacher, a Pergale teacher or house of wisdom teacher, is that they are able to connect knowledge and see, not only see, but express and talk about it. Let students be aware of it. And this leads to perhaps a very interesting, if not the most interesting aspect of uh, such teachers is that they are learning while teaching. At least that has been the most rewarding experience for me personally. When I teach children, of course, I have taught in colleges, universities, in many places. But I enjoy teaching young children because it forces me, it requires me to learn everything I teach and learn again after I finish teaching and prepare for the next topic. So it's a very, very rewarding uh, experience which requires another aspect, quality of the teacher, is ability to simplify complex topics and questions. In textbooks dealing with those questions, you have a lot of terminology, concepts and graphs and formulas and charts and all those things are there for probably a college level or higher school system, but to explain that to children age 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, in that age group, to explain this, you have to know how to simplify in simple words and convey the message and the knowledge while keeping children interested in it, using example, telling stories, and uh, uh, explaining things in simpler language and also in simpler concepts. Because simpler concept doesn't mean that they are uh, the lower rung of knowledge. Even higher knowledge, highly technical knowledge can be explained in simple words. So that is another very important qualification of teachers. So these are some of the greatest qualities of great teachers and I invite all the teachers to come forward, take interest, take responsibility and I can assure you that you will enjoy the process. I'm sure you are already enjoying it, that's why you are a teacher. But there is a joy, a pleasure in teaching younger kids higher knowledge, not only limited to their grade level and textbook. If you are teaching a, a group of uh, second, third, fourth grade uh, students, you will learn very interesting and special methods of how to teach college level subjects, although it is not necessary to choose those subjects, but if that comes in the context, a higher level topic, a more technical, you will be able to weave into your sim simple expression and simple language those complex topics. So with that, I'll close this video and come back hopefully with more tips and suggestions for teachers in the house of wisdom.